Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So on the Ethereum chart, let's talk about the um, main scenario here on the on the daily chart that hasn't changed at all. Um, you can access these charts basically 24-7 as a silver or gold member. Then you get the links also to the long term or daily charts if you're interested to to study them in detail. The idea here on the daily chart is still that a um, wave two on the ether chart bottomed in October 23. We're now basically in this third wave, which should the price event, which should eventually drive the price higher quite substantially and directly to um, yeah new all time high targets. OK, so my projection here is around eight to 12K can always extend higher, can always go higher. The idea is that within this third wave here, we have completed or are close to completing. I shouldn't say we have completed because there's no sign of it yet. So we still focus on higher until relevant support levels break. So um, we are still here probably in wave three of three, circle wave three of the larger degree third wave. So what I'd like to see next is circle wave four. This is also the next pullback that people have to expect. Um, but as I said in my updates yesterday, we cannot really expect a pullback until the market has given us an initial signal, which would be a break of the micro support level, which is what we take a look at every day in the ETH videos. Yeah, So the one hour chart basically. So that means bottom line is a wave four pullback is due at some point. The third wave has reached minimum expectations. I can show you that, for example, um, if we measure the length of wave one, go to the low of the wave two. And I often say that the minimum expectation for a third wave is the 1.236 extension that was reached. And the ideal target is the 1.38. I think that's still, yeah, we've reached that um, at around 4,075. So that's what I, why I highlighted yesterday. Basically a pullback is due. Now, sometimes people misunderstand that pullback is due doesn't, ha doesn't mean it's gonna happen now. It doesn't mean I predict the pullback now. It just means we have to be watching for it. Be ready for it, okay? Be ready for it. The difference to a pullback that happened down here to now is this was a different wave degree. This was happening within circle wave three. Now we have fulfilled the ideal requirements basically um, or the ideal structures to complete circle wave three before circle wave four starts, before then, however, further increases are expected. So no reason to panic if that pullback occurs. It would be an opportunity, in my opinion, for anybody who um, yeah, maybe wants to add to existing positions. Now, where could that pullback take us? So from current, from the current top, if that happened today, that pullback, we'd probably be looking at 2,970 to round about 3,520 dollars for circle wave four. But as wave three goes higher, which it still can, um, the support region would go higher as well. Okay, so that's sort of the scenario I'm tracking. Um, here on the shorter time frame, you can see this circle wave three. There are two ways how we could still climb higher in the short term. So in the yellow count, we have this diagonal pattern. It's basically an ending diagonal in wave five of circle wave three. So here we could get one more high basically to complete this structure that started on the 5th of March. One, two, three, four, five. Um, it could top at any point here. Now it could top at any point. For now, however, there is no sign of a top yet. We had a dip into the support region. That shouldn't have been a surprise. That's why the support region was on the chart. In fact, this yellow wave four actually reacted to the ideal target for a fourth wave, the 38.2 retracement spot on here and reacted already only three waves from the low. So be ready potentially for um, still for a dip into the support region. Yeah, that can happen in alternative wave four. So this wave four could still stretch out because we haven't taken out the previous swing high here around $4,000. $100, 4090 So anyway, the next FIB level here can act as resistance between $4,090 and $4,100. And um, as we just saw on the daily time frame, there's also a larger degree FIB that's acting as resistance here. And a move above that level could take us to 4270 
Um, there are two scenarios. The yellow count allows for one more high and the white count allows for basically um, two more highs, yeah? possibly even above the $4,500 range, which is why I think I always um, say, you know, it's worth to understand both potentials, incorporate them into a trading plan, understand the bigger picture. It's very bullish. Pullbacks can be an opportunity. A pullback is due, but not confirmed yet. So in the short term, the structure would still look best with one more high or two more highs. That's been my message yesterday as well. And we had a reaction to the support zone. Ether hasn't even made a new low. From that point of view, I think the focus can still be on higher, but while being very cautious. I think that message is clear. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, please feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.